that's not here. Hopefully it's gonna show up. Oh, I have Great. Someone's calling now. Great. Let's give it a minute then to where we're coming in. You don't have penalties for late? Showing up late? <laughs> no fines for showing up late? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get the chair. Recording in progress. <laughs> That would fix it. That yeah, would well, fix it, wouldn't it? Should do. That's always the way. Give them an assignment. Now we'll always be on time. Yeah. Yeah. Early even. <laughs> you may drop through. Mm. Take notes. <laughs> Not good. Not good. <laughs> Things are going to go fast, and you're going to need it. <laughs> Where's your tape recorder? Oh, no, I could do that. There you go. Or, no, this is recorded. Yeah, it's recorded. You're going oh, back in I reference. Go back really. in reference. Uh, yeah. If I think I missed something. That's Hello. Oh, that's Hello. Wait. Wait. Okay, so we'll get going. We thought that you might be Matt and, and uh, come in, so anyways. Is that for me? I am. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's for me. Yes, then. <laughs> Can't even shut them off. I use a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, so welcome to everybody, and uh, we're going to open it up for any comments, uh, um, if anybody's got any, or any uh, changes to the agenda. I know we have some people on here uh, for uh, the Beam Road, we're going to be talking about that, that uh, item number four on our list, and uh, so we're supposed to have... Lucky Godfrey at some point. I don't know if he's coming in or if he's gonna he's on somewhere. Oh, Sam. Okay, Mary Wolves is on there. Who wants to go first? If anybody's got public comment. Okay. I love silence. Okay, so let's go to the first one. Um Beth Bailey's driveway apron. Um uh, let's see, it says here that Beth remains interested in the additional pavement on the edge of uh, the right of way of, uh, in the low bid uh, was Slayton paving at uh, $1,560. And I guess there was some conversation between you and Ron about Ron the measure. Yes, the yeah. he, wanted, he, he said there was a concern from the board members that you would be exceeding the road right of way. So I, he asked me to go measure it. So I want to measure the road itself is 22 feet. Okay. From the middle to my side, I have a one foot, three or four inch apron beyond the edge of the road. And then you put in that pile of stuff that you make here in Hyde Park. And I'll tell you what this rain. Thank you for being nice about that. that <laughs> <laughs> sure is that's not state enough, but anyway. Anyway, it's held up. But before they put that rock in there, it the car scraped bottom going mm. up because it was such a lift. So uh, it really needs I don't know what we're gonna do in winter. I don't, it, do you have a wrapper service here if we need to have it hauled out? The town? I don't yeah. know if we've got an account with anybody or not. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I know, but anyway. But Rolling just up the road with a chain. <laughs> yeah, <I can> <laughs> but it does need to have an apron. It, it, yes. I mean, it needs to have an apron. Yes. And, and I don't want it way down. The measurements that Mark took 
We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. And okay. the one that uh, Slayton came and he didn't give me, and I didn't go back out to reconfirm the measurements because Slayton knew and everybody else knew what it was. And I think for that, and Slayton said it would be no big, Kevin said it would be no big deal to take out that crushed rock. Yeah. Yeah. I said we could do it. He said no, it would it'd be much easier if he did it. Yeah. And with this rain, we just said it was interesting because we do have a, like a swale. It's not a water bar, but it's like a swale that goes across the driveway. Otherwise, it washes the whole driveway right out. And that gives a nice rain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. But you'll look at the end of the road right across the street from you to see how it's washing out. Did you happen to notice that? Okay. Watch it every day. So it is washing out. It's not holding up. You're saying well, mine. <coughs> I, I'm talking. I'm talking two different things. Now. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, my driveway. My yeah. driveway is. It is so far ahead. Oh, okay. But it needs. It needs block time. Right. <laughs> but what I'm talking really is at the end of um, Easy Street, up on a hundred, where they put that ditch in. That's 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 not holding. Yep. That's washing. Nicely. And, and this is an action item, so we need to vote on it. And uh, I think it's been long enough myself. And. Uh, uh, I'd like to have somebody put a motion out there to pave the edge of the right of way. <laughs> to, right. to do how Slayton, is that what Yeah. You, right. Yeah. And Slayton's going to do it, it's just more than the, orig the, the original cost, right? I mean, is that the question? Or no, I don't think it, no, it's the way you get it written on okay. here, pave the edge of town right of way to reduce grade, and it was $1,560. That's less than the other uh, quote we okay. got. Right. Yep. He was all okay. over All right. So moved. Okay, second. Second. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. Hey, I've been here. I've, I've done this. I've, 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 I've done this a long time ago. Huh? I know. No, I thought this there. was done. So, yeah. so it is. I will try to get back to you, Beth, and let you know when, when it's going to be because I know yeah, sometimes other things. Before snow flies. Yep. Yeah. Oh, not, okay. That's, yeah. that's middle of next month. We had a project at work with them. So Watch it. She could talk about it. Yeah, oh, well, that, that would work too. I, I, yeah. I think yeah. we mentioned that, Ron, did Ron mention that to you? Because I think we talked about that, that it might be easier for you to work, once we approved it, yeah. for you to work than that way. If you with Slave or, you know, you could schedule it. With Kevin? Sure. Yeah. Could, yeah. yeah. I mean, if, I mean, he's the one that's doing it. Oh, okay. And that's why he said, I can't believe, I, I, I can't believe when he said, I used to walk up the neighbors, I used to walk up there. I said, it's flat now. I said, yeah, we're in a hole. Yeah. Right. That's. It, it, and I mean, this is something the town's going to have to look at because I'll bet you, since we've lived there, I'll bet that road has been raised at least one and a half, if not more than two feet. And it's it, you've got to be digging it down sometime. Mm -hmm. or, or I don't know. I don't yeah. know if you do. Give us an elevator or something. I don't know. That's true. <laughs> Maybe something to raise it up and you can drive straight on. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. top of the garage. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Beth. Whatever. It, 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 um, Will you get in touch with Kevin? Do you want me to get in touch with Kevin? Or it, um, you to let him know that you've done Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I'll, and I'll, I'll get hold of him. And he can get in touch with me. Yeah. Again, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, North Hyde Park and <coughs> Eden Fire Department. Status on new fire truck order and my clamp here. How's it going? Keeping away. You doing that? Yeah. <laughs> so I gave you guys a printout. That's what we gave the Eden <coughs> three weeks ago. Yep. So basically, there's two things on there. The first one is the price of the truck that the taxpayers approved. You can see it's gone up nine thousand dollars. The towns have voted for the three fifty to be split between two. It's three fifty nine right now. Yep. So basically we asked the town of Eden if they were approving their share of the extra. We're asking you if you guys will approve that so that we can of the nine thousand. Yeah. So that we can get the truck on the order slip. No. That price was out of this morning too. 
as of this morning. Right. And will it be held at a, do you know, or anything like that? As long as the cabin chassis, that's the biggest thing, is, is they still don't have the exact price on the cabin chassis because they can't get that price until they hit order and Dodge ships it to them. So they have yeah. the number figured in there. The price could go up, it could go down. <laughs> but until <laughs> okay. we sit with the manufacturer and we say, yep, we want the order, then they'll order it. Everything else on the truck, they know the price of. They don't know the exact on the cabin chassis. So it's an estimate of some sort, yeah. Yeah, they won't give us, they won't give us price. They can't until they can't fill a ship there. Any other questions? Okay. Sure. Yep. I just handed it out to everybody. Oh, wait a minute. I grabbed her, apparently. The second part of that is basically us asking you a question with thoughts. So looking at getting rid of that rescue truck that we talked about so we can get rid of the two. Right now they're offering us 50000 apiece for both trucks. That's $100,000. To replace that rescue truck, we're looking at doing a pickup that everybody can drive like it's spelled out there on the paper approximately cost the town to 28000 So if the town split it, it's $14,000 a piece. So that was kind of my thought was, would the town be willing to spend 14000 out of that COVID fund money to purchase that truck and get it shipped here so that we can get rid of the rescue truck because the pickup would be here quicker than our engine. And we just had to put $8,000 into that rescue truck, which came out of everywhere, here and there, and every place. We don't want another $8,000 bill for emissions on a truck that we don't want to keep. So we got it, it's still running, it's set to go, it's set for a sale. We're gonna try to sell that truck without the third party, basically the guys that are building that engine for us, that are willing to give us the 50, gave us a contact of who they know is looking for that truck and we can speak it for them. So there's a potential more. So if I can sell, if we, sorry I say I, I've been working with people too long, but if we can sell that truck for $80,000, it covers the whole cost of that pickup, but you have to be willing to so go to Las Vegas with $14,000 and potentially get it back and put it back into your COVID fund, or maybe we only can't sell it and get 50, but it costs you 14. Yeah, okay. So it's kind of, uh, do right. we gamble it? Yeah. Or do you not gamble it? Okay. I will tell you the town of Eden's kind of on the fence about it. And what they asked us was if we could have a group meeting mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Obviously, they're just the same night you guys are. Sit at the firehouse, go back and forth between the two select boards with us sitting in the middle. Okay. Whether you gamble it or don't. But well, it doesn't necessarily have to be COVID money. I mean, you can just, uh, it's just whether. We have to see if there's enough. 14. Yeah, just yeah. to see what there is. There are right. <coughs> yeah, my the the question, yeah. I knew that both towns got COVID money, and right. I said, well, if you don't ask for COVID money, obviously they're not giving it to anybody without a request. So right. if right. once right. I heard about that, I said, well, shit, why don't we put in for 14000 from both towns out of the COVID money right. yeah. potentially give it back to you when the pickup arrives? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that don't work that way, though. You don't give COVID money back, right? Right. No, but you no, would, but it would go would into the budget. In we could put it back into the budget. Okay. We could yeah. Well, it, you right. said give it back. Yeah. You, you'd be yeah. using the fourteen thousand out of COVID funds, knowing that you may put fourteen thousand back, back into your budget, budget. Exactly. but you're borrowing against your COVID right. money right. in I'm the back. expectation. And, and we're we're, we're paying fourteen or just uh, seven thousand. I think you can borrow against no, COVID. No, fourteen each. Yeah. Okay. So I'm asking you tonight about basically 5,000 extra on the truck that they've already done, and then you'd be looking at 14, so it's a total of 19 if you want to look at it that way of right. what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah. That, that could come out of the But funds. if you want to wait to go back to the taxpayers at town meeting. Yeah, it could, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm sitting on an 8,000 dollar bill, got a truck going through that I'm wanting to dump. Yeah. The, we want to dump. The thing is, is it's a, it, the rescue is a 2013 terrorist fire with that max portion. Doing research on that, talking to Francois Marcoux, who had one during that period. I can't remember which generation it is, but it's a bomb. Max Force International wanted to take and build an engine that they didn't have to use a death buoy. 
Well, this oh. ain't that, and then talking to Ricky Morin, Eden, he said, <coughs> and Rick, Brent was the other night, I said, we just bought $8,000, and I thought that was kind of steep for a 2013. He said, why are you using on? He said, I put that into your budget because you send the truck in, you're looking at minimum 8000 every time it goes through the shop. And I said, so if we can get rid of that, which that truck, that generation of max force engines seem to have all types of problems. So <clears throat> I'm looking at it saying, if we can get this pickup truck in, that will alleviate in the next year or two, filling the budget up to like 10 to 15,000 just for truck maintenance because we're not playing on it. That's a drawback. So I'm looking at it saying, we're going we're gonna to save money down the road. Town will save money down the road. We can find a buyer for it. Okay. And you're saying you do. But you're also <coughs> saving the bigger picture is is when that rescue was due to be replaced, that's another two hundred and sixty thousand I think in your yeah. line item, which yeah. is for twenty thirty. So at fourteen thousand now we're saving you two sixty divided by two in two thousand thirty because we right. wouldn't be doing it then. Mm -hmm. That's the bigger yeah. picture of yeah. it. It's making an We've talked here. about this before, and I, and I, I right. think it makes a lot of sense. On the I guess they yeah. want to sit down, meet with yeah. you, and see if it makes sense for everybody. Before I just I can't order the truck until we know yeah. if you guys want to do it this way. But if we wait till town meeting, we're sitting on oh, that. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Well, and yeah. how much more is anything else going to cost? Well, I mean, well the, truck, we out of <clears> the truck has already gone through town meeting. The, the yeah, the city just need five thousand. Right, you talk about the pickup. That's why it's whether you borrow against COVID money or you have because you wanted to get rid of two, two, like two get rid of the two, replace the two trucks yeah. with a truck and a pickup. Right. So the then more people what they're asking. So you're still getting two trucks. <laughs> well, not two big trucks. Not right. two. Not two three hundred thousand dollar trucks. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting trucks that more people can drive. <laughs> well, we can, especially when you get only two at a, at a department door today, you know. So right, you only need a pickup. Thing, but that's the other thing it's going to do, though, is we do have more people that show up. The problem is they can't get the other trucks out of the firehouse. So, like, when you go down to the town department, anybody can sit in there and drive out dog pickup and get John the signs he needs can set up a roadblock for John who's sitting at a scene, but other than that, he goes with one person. The other four are sitting there because they can't drive nothing. They can't drive the big trucks. Right. They can't drive anything here. The other in their own car, and that's got nothing on. Yeah. Big trucks anyway. But. Yeah. So that's the thought. Of that. <coughs> the thought, the is, yes. That, to just put the pickup in there now because we can get all the stuff off the rescue truck, put it in there, get rid of the truck, wait for the new truck that you've already okayed, then move our equipment around the two trucks without having to buy another three hundred thousand dollar rescue truck. Yeah. So is in a month going to be too late to make a decision? I'm just right. I'm, I'm just trying to. Well, it would be two weeks. As far as the pickup, pick no, no. no. Yeah. If you can make the decision on the extra on the top line, that three sixty, because then I can call them. I have to then set the meeting with them to click the order button. They need to come up here. So well, we just want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. okay, to make okay, sure right. yeah, and okay. also, and then if we yeah. can meet all together with, with Eden, Eden, but without the right. select board meeting nights, like a Wednesday night is yeah. when we figure is going to work best, we'll okay. schedule that night. Now, now, once you lock this in, Brent, what'd they say about the price? Will it go up, or once you lock it in? Once I lock it in, and I'll, I'm, wait, the big truck or the pickup? The big, big truck. Big truck. The big truck's locked in other than the cabin chassis, which could go up, it could go down. Right now, the price is three fifty nine with the price they have figured in for the cabin chassis. And the drawback is, is the further we go with it, you're just waiting. Then we're the prices have, have been just well. Oh, right. Everything's going up right now. You're just my my my, my honest up. feeling is it's not going up above the three fifty nine because I think they might have patterned it a little bit to get the cabin chassis so they know it falls in there, which could be less, which. It may not even come out for the three fifty nine. It could come out back at the three fifty. So we just got to make a motion for the three fifty. That's what it was today. Uh, was just the for the extra, another five. We just yeah, need extra. another. We need another five. Right. Right. On the top one for the big one. Yeah, that's okay. what the town meeting because before it was three sixty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, I move that we do another five thousand to our added to the fire truck so it can get ordered. 
Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstaining? Agreed. Okay. Now with the other right, let's just pick a night so that we can all sit down and talk. What I was going to do is try to text three to during the meetings, but Wednesdays would be the best, which you're kind of looking at the 21st and 28th of this month. I don't know how that works for everybody. <coughs> You said what, 28th? The 21st or the 28th are the next two available Wednesdays. Hmm. I'm good with either of those. I'm good with either Yeah, the 21st would be better for me. I'm... It's your daughter's birthday. What? It's your daughter's birthday. That's all right. Okay. That's why it's better. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I remembered that. No, we'll, 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 we usually do that on the weekend, so. Oh, okay. The, the, 20, 20, the 21st? The 21st of, of September? Yeah, next week. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can try it. I'm on standby. I may be called out, but uh, uh, we can try it. Well, you want to go the 28th? No, let's do the 21st. Okay. And then. Uh, but we don't necessarily. Oh, I'm going to shoot her. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and I just shove everything right. over to you and I run. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. And you want to try the 21st first? 21st. Correct. 21st. Yeah, that's what we like to. What time? Three. No. Yeah. We're gonna get to the <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. Six. 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 Yeah. And that would be up to your place. Up yeah. to the. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say if she responds to it because she's there in a meeting, so she might be able to ask them. Because if not, then I gotta call you all. Then I gotta call them all. No, just just send us an email. Yeah, I just got to get it into here, otherwise it don't happen. <clears throat> yeah, the furnace cleaned that day. Speaking of cleaning furnaces. Okay, so yeah, that should handle that, and we'll be up there on the 21st. Yeah, uh, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yep, great. Okay, um, the next one is Beam Road. And let's see. <laughs> God asked for time, okay, and I told him about that. I'm, um, Ron said that you're uh, still working on the public notice to lay out the new highway, <clears throat> which will likely include stormwater easement areas. The public hearing can be set just before Thanksgiving if the board would uh, like to do that. And Mark is aware of, some of the drainage concerns and will fix anything if the road becomes impassable or too rough. So, but. Let me begin. I'll quote Susan from one of our last meetings. I can't believe we're talking about this road yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a couple of years, and here we sat, and obviously with a public hearing set before Thanksgiving, nothing's going to happen this year. In the meantime, because there's been no maintenance done on that road for at least six or seven years, we're leaving tonight. Once again, the water was running across the road just below Sherry's house. Just yeah right at the edge of her driveway. I think we've got 10 years of um, your sand sitting in the road right there. They just sell it back to us. Well, we'll <laughs> give it to you. <laughs> okay. um, oh, because the ditches are full, and whenever it rains, it's not gravel that's coming down, it's sand. It's sand. And the dry, that part of the road is very soft, and the comment about that, if it becomes impassable, I'm not a young man, and I understand that being retroactive it saves time and money instead of being um, having to be, I mean, being proactive saves time and money or right. being reactive. And that's what, since nothing's going to be done this year, I would like to see that corner addressed 
because the road will become impassable in the spring when the winter snows start melting and it's going to be awful difficult to take care of that when there's six or seven feet of snow built up on that corner. So if I would like to, I'm just asking you if you could get them to do something on that corner so it doesn't become impassable. Okay, so around that corner, I've it's been, been talking. two years since we've been I, talking I agree. about this. I agree. Now, don't get me started on it because I'm not happy. Okay. Can I show pictures? <clears throat> the thing I, that I understand, and I've been trying to get them up there to chat. I talked to Mark several times, and for some reason, it's I don't know if it's Ron or Mark or what, but it's in somebody's head that around that corner is private land, and it belongs to um, John Clark. No, that's Sherry's land. Huh? That is Sherry's land. Okay. John's land, isn't it? You want to say that loud right now, God, <laughs> speaker? <laughs> that land belongs to Sherry. It's not anywhere close to John's land. Where the present turnaround is, is John's land. Um, but that's the, okay. that's the closest okay. it gets to John's land. I think this is my speech that we got a brand new excavator. And just as soon as this rain quits, I think that escalator should be moved up there and start ditching. Do you want to turn that? <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> just Good as soon as it stops raining, okay. that excavator should be moved up there and start ditching that road. Well, this has been way too long. We don't need a bunch of people telling us that we can't even do our ditching. That was the money that was spent for that excavator. That's right. And I, and, and I will apologize because this is Easy, right. crap. Right. And, then, and the lack of communication has been frustrating. I mean, we have the town of Morristown is telling us routinely what's going on in Garfield Road, and we don't even pay taxes to them, and they've communicated very well to us. Well, when the rain stops and the excavation stops, Will that include going down past Sherry's house? I think it should start from the top and go down and clean that culvert out because Brian and I was up there two years ago and that culvert was plugged in. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And they were aware of it. Right. But there's no ditch left in front of and that's all yours. And right down through there, that belongs to Sherry. Right. And it's, it's on private land. It's private. If she'll write a little thing saying, go ahead and ditch what you guys got to ditch, get this opened up for the winter. But even if it's not what you're proposing in the end, but that's right. Get us through the yeah, right. right. Yeah, Get the water out of the road. I've been up yeah. there. Yeah. Appreciate it. That. That's all we can ask for. And should we put that to a vote between all of us? To have the uh, somebody want to second what I just said? To the beam road and uh, move that excavator up there and start. Fixing that thing and ditching it and cleaning well, maybe them culverts. If they're in the middle of something and they need two days to finish it, they might as well finish what they're doing. But it needs to be the next thing. They're to do. putting up sand, Susan. Okay. Well, I they're have They're putting up sand. What doing. Okay. That can be stopped. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. Is, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we'll Mary see. Mary's on happens. here. Mary Walls. I assume she's listening since she's there. And Mary is going to be concerned about not weed along that ditch and what you're going to do with that. Oh, um, it's annoying. There's not a lot on that side of the road. The only the thing that you can do with it is if you can bury, if you get into the not weed, bury it right where it is. Okay. You know, that excavator can dig, and I don't know if where the not weed is, that excavator can reach 18 feet. If we dig down, I no, I know it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, Bury right. it right where it is, right. because you're not supposed to carry it off. Gotcha. But then again, I can show you some pictures where the state did. Oh yeah, it's getting. Okay. Other point, which we sort of go through every year now for quite a while, is: Are you willing to agree that once again you're going to plow for the turnaround since we're not actually going to get this? I I I will. Yeah. It's been that way. We get yeah. right. we can't we got to have a turnaround. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good to me. And, the only and that's other, down to your house, Jerry, right? right yeah, yeah, above yeah. my house. Yeah, above my house. And the only other thing is that if you could ask them, because 
That has the been. asking is stopped. Now it's telling. Well, I'm not going to tell you. You can tell. No, no, I, no I, I'm just telling <laughs> I'm you that because you. We, we made suggestions this, and we tried to work with it and it ain't happening. And so I'm kind of in the same boat that Roland is on the whole thing. And I'm kind of embarrassed that it hasn't gotten done well, yet. For the last 30 years, spring and fall, that portion of the road, because the town uses it, has been graded. And it really, whoever plows it should ask them to grade it down there because if it freezes and it's not flat, it's miserable to plow. So I would like to see them grade that, not only for our purposes, but for their purposes. Yeah. So it's a little easier to plow it when it's not, not rough. Right. right. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Let's ditch it first, right? But they've always graded it once and then spring after plowing digs it up and they grade it once so it freezes. Does, does anybody want any material up there while they're ditching or? No, yes. Uh, no, again, at, I mean, I'd love to, but I, I worry about not we Yep. Uh, that I don't want to bring it down to our place. Yep. Uh, we've been lucky thus far that it hasn't spread. If, if so. they don't get into any knotweed, is it just in one spot up there? I'll have to go look. Yeah, you'll have to go look, too. And I'm sure Mary will. Yeah, Mary will know where it is. Mary will know where it is. She's got a whole computer program for every piece that's out there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, certainly... <clears throat> you know, and this if one it doesn't have not weed. I, I will certainly take it. This is one thing that we can't stop. We've got to do our ditching, right. regardless if it's got not weed or not. But right. we can do the best we can to try to bury that not weed. Right. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, if it doesn't have not weed, I would be very happy to take it, dump it in the turnaround, and I'll move it. Okay. All of these still. Thank you. Well, thank you for. Being patient. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. We'll get there eventually, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, this, this, I know. Here, four years when we're still there, and this is like I can't believe we're not yeah. out. Right. Yeah. yeah. Something ain't right. Looking for all day. Well, I'm glad I made your day. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you, John. Thank you. Again, we apologize. Thank you. That's where they're talking about. That's where Ron's talking Bucky, about. Bucky's coming down through here is private land. Okay. But we can still ditch that because yeah. that belongs to Sherry yeah. across there. Yeah. And we can it's just ask her to get her permission. Yeah. No, but it's just a confirmation. She's got right 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 something right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have her sign. Well, because she had some issues before about how big and everything was. I mean, I know that. Remember, that was a bunch of whole things. But see, now that's not John Clark's thing to No. They no, said no, down to the turnaround was John's. And I just well, talked well, about but, but Yeah, the current turnaround is, is Clark's property. I don't know what the rain's going to do up there, but. Mm. Okay. Hey, what's next, Brian? Next thing we're going to move to, to Al here so it, um, we can get that done. And uh, Bucky, uh, with the work on the garage, was next, but we, he isn't on currently, so hopefully he'll show up here shortly. But we'll take. We'll take. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that COVID. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Per, people in person, that type of thing. So, so yeah, we we got your information here, and. Uh, well, I get a lot. I get a lot better here. No, I'm sure you do. Let's let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Al. <laughs> well, um, basically, I want to put a heat in the in the hall, and we have gas line installed in a tank, and we have the gas all. In the old tiny furnace in there, so we don't use it because it doesn't put out much heat. But our, uh, the uh, heat pumps are doing good in the fall and in the spring. But when it gets down to about 15 and 20 above, they don't, yeah. they tell you not to even try to use them because it actually does damage to them. I've got them in my house, and I understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, uh, I'm proposing to put in a, I think they bid on a 100,000 BTU gas boiler. And that will do 
Who did the bid? Who did the bid? I got a bid from Borns and one from Fred's. I asked the county oil to bid and they haven't, they said they would, they came up and looked at it, but I haven't got a paper from them yet. I'm hoping How long ago was that? Pardon? How long ago was that? Oh, these are very recent, the last week. Last week, county ain't got back because they're probably busy. They're so, everybody like that is yeah. busy. They're, the plumbers are right now straight. But anyway. I'll tell you what, county, county did a lot of work here for us. And I'm going to tell you, they did an excellent job, and yeah. it was um, done fast yeah. on a weekend when we needed it. Yeah. And and they meet I definitely, on I definitely would like you to get control. back yeah. back to them to see why. Um, yeah, we'll see what their bid is. Yeah, see yeah. what their bid is, and yeah. see. I can tell you it's sitting on a desk right now. We're trying to get to it, but he hasn't got my notes transferred to his notes yet, so. Are you the so one it's in process, process, right? Yeah. Did you look at it, dude? Yeah. <laughs> well, so um, when they did have the three companies look at it, we went through the hall and um, they, uh, we want to run, uh, we start with right from the water meter. It's, a, it's, a, it's like the pipe goes about the length of the tunnel. And uh, the, uh, we would propose to uh, High Bell, um, we would propose to uh, re remove all of the present prom plumbing because it's it's copper and it's green and not long for this world. Uh, they replace it with PEX probably. Um, and we have to run, we want to do a kitchen in the upstairs where there used to be a kitchen. Not that it'll get used a lot, but we want to have one. Um, we'd run a hot and cold line up there and a drain. We have a an antique dry sink up there that would be beautiful to use. All we have to do is put a faucet in it and hook the drain up to it. It's good. It's about uh, it's as big as one of these tables. Oh, wow. but, uh, anyway, we want to come up there and we put some radiation in the kitchen and then we will, right at the edge of that, we'll put a shut off and a return in so that we can shut off the hall. Well, we're going to put the radiation in the hall because so it'll be done. But we're going to be able to shut it off on both sides because we don't want to heat it until right. we get it fixed. Uh, and all set to doing that because it's, there's no insulation in the ceiling and there's not much right. even a ceiling. And that's the problem. We have to find the money to fix the ceiling before we can keep insulation from falling down through it onto the floor because you can look right up through. So. Uh, the downstairs, so that ceiling has to be replaced for the fire marshal. It's cardboard. They don't like that. <laughs> so, and, but that's, that's awesome. down the road somewhere. <laughs> Not part of this project. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, we put radiation down the sides of both the lower hall and the upper one. And fix the plumbing. And we have to have a carpenter on the, on the payroll because there's they don't want to do all the woodwork to tear out to put their pipes in they want it to be done professionally mm -hmm. and then when they get done the plumbing the carpenter will fix things up and make it look really nice and in some cases box in the pipes and you got a uh, water pipes drain pipes uh, furnace vent pipe the, the, the plumbing vent pipe everything goes up through from the lower basement or the lower bathroom through to the second floor and up to the roof. Um, and so we could get that all out of the site and we got some carpenter work to do in the basement because we have to, we started doing a utility room but we got to alter that. We got to jog it out around so that the pipes leading from the furnace going to the far side of the room are in a heated area so they don't get frozen. So it's just a matter of Put a couple of little short petitions in and in closing that area into the heated area, we'd put a small heater. Uh, gas furnaces don't heat around themselves like an oil furnace does so much, so we'd have to put a small piece of radiation down there, but that will keep that whole utility room warm and there's no other water in the building other than in that room and going upstairs. But, um, so, you know, that will stop us from having to find a, somebody to come turn the water on in the spring and turn it off in the fall and all that kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, we take the meter out and put it back in. 
while you're in the easement on piles of rocks. I've, I've done that for several years now. Anyway, um, I've got the I've got a copy for everybody here with all the details. I kind of tried to word it stuff that you know, uh, it's not a not a college educated type of thing. There we go. You know, but uh, why why do you think gas is the way to go in that building? Well, well, we have it already, and it, it costs like hell to get it installed. Um, and oil burners, they, the gas runs better, they are smoother, cleaner, almost no maintenance to the furnace, you know, it doesn't build up with soot and stuff like a oil burner, burner does. A gas is cheaper than oil right now and probably will continue to be. Um, you know, I, we don't have, we have, it's easier to control, I think. We're gonna, we're gonna put in th smart thermostats. We can actually control it with a phone from home, uh, if, you know, if we have to. And there'll be thermostats in different areas. Um, we want, someday down the road, we could actually put some panels on, solar panels on the roof. It's got a beautiful south-facing roof up there with, you know, that uh, if, the, if the historic people wouldn't bitch about it, we could put solars up there. Oh, yeah. well, there's, they there's probably different. wouldn't like that with any. Well, there's, there's panel, I mean, there's different ways to do it. They got them now that make them look like shingles and stuff like that. So there is yeah. other options out there sure, besides just the big good. panels you see on the well, they don't, currently. That's their only complaint about working in a, in a historic building is the fact that they don't care what we do as long as it looks just like it used to look. That was their words. And we can. We can even paint it different if we wanted to, but they want they can't change the wood, the architecture, right. anything right. like that that right. changes it. So, so, although you can't see that south facing roof very well from going by or anything, but we we'll, we haven't dealt with that part of it. Uh, I've got enough to try to convince them already. Well, and you get these things over time. I keep thinking, exactly. though. I keep thinking. We keep putting money into this, and we keep putting money into this. Are we thinking about a parking lot? Are we thinking about where we're going to park? Yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, uh, we've got several possibilities. Several possibilities. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, of course, we have permission to use all the area we want down at Howard's Mill. Mill. Yeah. And we can use Don Bullard's little parking lot by the old fire station. A couple of the neighbors across the road don't care if we use it when we have an event. Um, obviously the idea of getting the old red house is gone by the way. Because they're working on that, I heard. Oh, they bought it. Yeah. The guy from St. Albans bought it and re renovated it all last fall and it's all, it's all occupied and will continue to be. So that's out. Um, we're actually looking at Dave Griswold's house. Um, I hate to, hate to think about it before he even gets in the ground, but, but uh, that should come down. Um, it's in terrible shape. Uh, his, his, the, his descendants are all in there with Prolos. On the left hand side. Yeah, 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 right. uh, and uh, that would be, if that house was gone, we'd have yeah. more parking and so would the church. They're not, they don't because have Because Ken Dusso's either. place in between there. Ken so, Dusso. You know, there's not a big parking okay. lot yeah. in North Lake Park, obviously. So no. we're going to have to do what we're going to do. Big borrow or steal a car at the spot here and there. Yeah. Um, Bobby Joe Rhino, Rhino, is that her name? I don't like that. Rhinedale. Uh, she's uh, having a feud with her neighbor uh, across the parking lot there, um, Jimmy Bradley's daughter. Uh, but anyway, they're, they think they own part of her parking lot and they don't. <laughs> and so they're feuding and she's not, she's ready to move out. She's going to put the place up for sale soon because she's sick of fighting with her neighbors. You know, so there's another possibility that house should be in the roll-off. I mean, that's the old valley house, but it's historic. But yeah. you know, just because it's old doesn't mean it's worth a damn. Yeah, yeah, uh, right. So you know, there's you never know what's going to happen. Um, but you know, honestly, when there's a lot of parking at Howard's Mill. 
right? I mean, oh, yeah, I've seen events bit. going on there and that. There's, oh, yeah. I've seen a lot of, I mean, if, you park, if people park normal. <laughs> right, yeah, they, they, people, people don't know how to park. No, they don't. You wonder, they you do wonder, it correctly. You wonder what's going to happen with that, though. Yeah, see, Howard's selling off a lot of stuff. And yeah, but work. that also belongs to Jeff. He's not selling anything. Jeff is actually the owner of it, I think, already. So. Yeah, is Jeff the owner? Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. good. No, yeah. no, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Fact, he's the one that gave us permission to go there. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, that's good. We're, yeah. we're also looking at just going down that driveway behind the mill down by the river and, and getting permission. I think he owns all of that. Mm -hmm. We're looking at making a little mini park in there or something for some of the, oh. you know. So yeah. it's this women hole already. Yeah, yeah. As soon as we yeah. get in there with an excavator and take all the metal that's in the hole, stick it up out of the ground out of the river. But, Good luck with that one. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's, um, that's where we're at. Um, I think that um, <clears throat> getting that kitchen heated, if we could possibly get one of these outfits to actually do this work this fall, which, you know, they've said November probably, or have it done at the earliest. Um, um, there's quite a bit of money difference between Borns and, and Fred's. Um, Borns actually includes all of the plumbing, yeah. and Fred's doesn't include any of it other than the heater, the heating, but not the domestic. So there's a it's a six thousand difference, and yeah. probably more than that when you figure all the plumbing. So I don't. Know. But I mean, Fred, uh, who's to say that uh, county won't come in cheaper, but. I doubt it. Probably be right around there. Yeah. yeah, I I just think they did such a good job yeah, here. They were, they were, they were, on the, they were on Johnny on the spot and right. yeah. you know, I just know the they ones that right. that's not working yeah. with yeah. I can right. um, I can call up Eddie or Brent can talk to Eddie in the morning or well it should be in this way. I'd like yeah. to see it. Huh? No, but this is a heating the hole. That's what I was asking when I took Eddie up there and looked at it. it was the whole drain tunnel, not just the boiler room and not just the bathroom. It was plumbing for the second floor. It was. It sounds like you better make sure that the country's got that. Yeah, yeah, they were the yeah. first one to come up yeah. and I showed them everything. Yeah, well, let's check and make sure that. Yeah. Have no, you got I a job description thing, right? made up of it? No. Yeah, yeah, I so gave, it is apples I apples. gave all three of the people the same sheet, same sheet of paper. And I showed them all the same thing when I, when we came in. I showed them all the same. I I, looked at them. I don't know, but uh, you know, if, if the bid came in radically different, I'd have to we'd have to look at the specs. But right, um, I just think that down the road, the only plans that we have for the upstairs is to be like a little museum. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't be heated other than keep it up from freezing um, in the winter and uh, and uh, in the even if we had a small event you can't really have a, an event in a museum so yeah yeah and uh, you know I don't, they used to hold dances up there but I that would scare the hell out of me. <laughs> People tell me that they were downstairs and they could see the floor. They were, they were smaller and skinnier back then. Yeah, they were. My like grandfather was. So yeah, they, they all were. Yeah, so you can tell that by walking on the stairs. <laughs> they were little people. <laughs> the banisters are a lot lower than they are nowadays. But anyway, that's, you know, this is just one of our projects that we have to do. But we have to start at the beginning and we can't work in there in the winter. You know, but so that takes away two thir a third of the year that we can't even do anything in there. And I'd like to see this done before I go. I mean, I, <laughs> um, and you know, but it, and we've got major stuff that's got to be done, like the ceilings on both doors, and, and we've got to put a humongous set of stairs off the second floor river end. Down the out onto a platform, down the stand, and down onto the side stairs for a second fire escape. 
you know, it's it's uh, we got to replace the fire gate, the fire the ramp out front. Um, you know, it's and the surveying hasn't been done yet, right? It hasn't got completed the, the survey. I property. don't know. That's, that's you <coughs> yeah. guys are. In, I don't know. Yeah. That, nobody's told me anything about that. I know okay. we're supposed to have one, but I don't know what the status of it is. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see it done because you know we have to build a little bit of a stone walkway from the right side of the front of the building out to the where the, the exit out of the building from the fire escape. Um, and that has to be sloped a little. Right now that is flat and the water's coming down and going, instead of it going into the, off to the neighbors, it goes right into the basement. And I wondered why that was leaking so bad. It never did before, but it's doing that now. So I gotta regrade that stone out there and stuff. And you know, I, I'll have to get a really tiny excavator to get between her, you know, she got a little shed built yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's only about four feet in there. So. But they have those little excavators and they do a lot of work, but you know, we'll have to. But we can't, it's not on our land. Half of it would be, the bucket would be half on our land, half on the neighbors right now. And it's only got to about two feet. So anyway, that's where we're at. Um, I think I've I think it'd be better off to take the building, pick it up, move it somewhere. <laughs> I know, I, I know that. It would be great. But, and of course, if she sells the place, you know, that building could accidentally fall down, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> um, it's uh, see eventually originally we wanted to get that building for a parking lot we even paid lcpc paid three thousand dollars to have it certified not a brownfield which i'm surprised they got that but they got it so uh, so I know that that part of it's covered all we need is, is to not have a house in the middle of our parking lot we have all kinds of parking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, can, we, can we figure that out, Susan? <laughs> it's an interesting arrangement. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we're at. I don't know. You know, you guys can talk about it and see what you're thinking. Um, I, I'd like to get somebody onto the hook. Although they do want money up front, I, know, I don't know. I would suggest ARPA money, but. Yeah. Well, you know, again, these are the sorts of projects that the you know really that the ARPA money is intended as things exactly. that that, yeah, that normally a town isn't unless you have a really good year you're not shaped to do this sort of thing and it's an opportunity to get some. Again, I think I think the more that that building it's a slow but steady and you see down here in the village just things some of the older houses are being bought and redone that you know. Or Hyde Park as a whole to become a more attractive community for families to move into, because we're never going to be a big business community. We don't we don't have the infrastructure. No. You know we just it just that's just not going to happen. We can get no. we can get some folks in, but our you know I think our our best bet is to be a friendly community to families and that's and have have people coming in and buying some of these older homes and redoing them and having sure. family live them in them. Yeah, bedroom and, town. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just think that's realistically what we're going to be. Spend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I will say one thing: the Kuzon place will look a lot better. Yeah, the federal place is looking great. Yeah, Al, yeah. The, no, um, you know, wiring get upgraded in there. The wiring. The wiring is done downstairs, and we did the attic. Um, there's lights in the attic, and they they dropped the wires down into the ceiling of the second floor, and they just left them. I told them to leave them. We'll buy some lights, uh, and they put up um, LED bulbs in each one. So we actually okay. got good light up there. They don't look good, but they are good. They are good. Huh? And uh, we've we've got a panel upstairs now, so that we can spread out. We'll have to do the kitchen, but the kitchen sheetrock. Somebody put three eight cents sheetrock on that kitchen, and I thought, Phew. I mean, who would do that? But anyway, we got to tear off all the walls and the ceiling, and the committee is going to take care of that. We'll, we'll get in there and have a work party. A nice work day. Right? Um, we got to do the ceiling and or the, yeah, the ceiling and the walls, and we'll probably insulate them while we got them uncovered. Um, you know, and then. Um, but I think this uh, having this heating system in place will help leverage grants. Yes. Uh, That's exactly so we what can happens. get for doing the ceilings. Yep. You gotta yep. have to have yep. 
eight or ten thousand for each ceiling probably because it has to be a fire code ceiling yeah. which is five five eight sheet rock five eight sheet rock three, three and a half inch steel and then another five eight sheet rock and i got to do that in the utility room down there too so you got to do the plumbing first because i don't want to have to you know we can't put a ceiling up and then put plumbing above it so um, we're trying to do it in a correct manner and correct sequence you know mm -hmm. yeah well that makes a lot of sense and it ultimately saves money too but i think that building will actually pay for itself once it's fixed up and we get people into it legally it just seems so i've been here for seven years and we've been <laughs> we've well, been we started right that's right <laughs> but but we've also never invested gigantic amounts of money right. it's, it's, it's always this little yeah well it's, it's little no it's been taxpayers no, money yeah but it's not that they've done a lot more with well the, the first one was, right. the, was the roof and that right. was to yeah. save the building completely right. that was about yeah. 50 grand and yeah. then yeah. we yeah. asked for 17 time. after that but we haven't asked for any more right uh, we do get that allowance each year for maintenance which you know if we don't I won't get into all that right now. That's between the finance person and, and Ron and us arguing about that. Because <laughs> uh, I, I don't think they know what we've got, and we don't know what we've got either. So we know we haven't spent much, but they say we ain't got much. So okay. I don't know. It's another story. Yeah, right. Yeah, but um, they end up using it I think that for just their, holding a few uh, events now and then will, you know, and uh, we do draw in some donated <laughs> stuff quite often. Um, I think the place will actually pay the gas bill and the light bill and stuff by itself. You get that. It takes a while. Yeah. You take once it gets up because yeah. it's, you got to pass the fire marshal. Right. <laughs> and and uh, all the all the ADA codes. It's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's where I'm at. Okay. Thank you, Will. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, so Valerie, you do have anything to say? No, no I was just here for more support. <laughs> Yeah. So we probably, if you get the bid from county, if you could send that over. Yeah. Yeah. And then at our next meeting, because if you, yeah, we can make a decision. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put that in the notes. To, mm -hmm. Yeah. To, yeah. To what we. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah. So as a new member to the Guyon Valley Hall um, committee okay. and having attended the site walk last evening, um, you know, it's there's more conversations happening in the community about the potential of the Guyon Hall and what it can be used for. And just thinking about a community center for Hyde Park and mm -hmm. for multi-use, multi-generational. Yep. Um, and uh, it's, it's, for me, it seems really encouraging. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Bring in the people that you need to, yeah. to do. Yeah. You know. What I need is about three or four 20 to 30 year old guys built like linebackers. They, they get on the committee. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you get their wives on the committee. Right, right. <laughs> then the wives will bring the guys into work. I'm the only guy on the committee right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or you want some company. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw your ad you put out for getting. Yeah, you know, I just I put a little thing in Facebook today about, you know. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't. I'm not going to go home and look for all the applications. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear your phone beeping you were, under Bud's there, so it, it four might or be five o'clock in the morning until you know it's getting yeah. less. I've got one guy that I think yeah. wants to be a carpenter and work in there, but I got to. He just moved into North High Park. I got to get him on the phone and see if he's busy. Hopefully not. Mm -hmm. uh, I did tell him that we needed somebody, and I told him to get insured. So that's normally the number one exactly. prerequisite yep. for being working here. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Hopefully. We'll see. Okay. Thank you. We'll be talking. You got that on um, chest. Okay. What's that? Good. The 21st. 21st. 6th. Okay. Green. Wild meeting at the fire station. 6 o'clock? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. No, I can be. Okay. So we got that. Let me just see. Um, no Bucky. 
I don't see him. I don't know if you want one for Ryan for the minutes and one for Matt. Matt has one in the email, but it's different than this one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so that will go with the. Okay. Him. Excellent. Thank you, Brent. Thank you, Brent. Yeah, good night. You, you too. too. Okay, so do we skip over anything? We've got bean rolls, we got no, the garage repairs. That's Bucky. So we need to, we, yeah, Bucky was supposed to be here to help explain some of the stuff about the bill uh, on that, and um, that is an action item. And they wanted to uh, put a second code on, uh, uh, on the uh, overhead doors, let's see, add second code and overhead doors to be painted. Uh, and it was 7900 Now there's also, I was going to ask Bucky more about the, uh, I guess some of the trusses above where the office area is, is, is the two by fours that built the trusses have broken. And when he was up there doing something with painting the roof and stuff, it was very spongy and he got in there, my understanding. And uh, that's why I want to talk about clarity on it. Um, and he was going to have to sister or put another piece next to it and then screw it together to get those trusses uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing up there. And uh, I wanted to get some more clarity. I wanted to ask him if he had any uh, um, any photos maybe taken of him up there, that type of thing, so I could see what's going on with it. So that, But the, the whole thing right here, if he does those repairs, will be up by $22,159 for materials and, and labor. What, what was the original? Um, it doesn't say here and I don't recall. It was in the last... Last, last, in the last, last maybe last meeting notes? It should be. Let me see here. I remember that didn't come It is, because we talked, it was in the last ones. Oop. Okay. Here's a, I got it. You got it? The description, the original bid. Same thing. What was it? Oh, no, I just got a copy of this bill here. Original bid, scope of work, yeah. 32222, repair roof dented. The budget was $12,000. 12, yeah, it's like doubled. Okay. Then there was a change order that added paint, exterior paint, that we approved on 412 which was an 18, almost $1,900 addition. And the change order two was add, repair, chimney, stabilized, approved. On 415 was 815. And change order number three was to, at 829, was to complete exterior paint, bay doors, need select board approval at 913. That's what this one is. Mm -hmm. This adds another uh, 3,844 and number four is to repair the soft roof over office options one and two and that is seven thousand nine hundred dollars so we <laughs> we certainly have doubled the cost of the project but we've also added a lot of work to the project right yeah. So do we approve it? Well, did have him do it, or I don't know why Bucky isn't on. Do you have a number for him? Let me see if I can get him through. It was twenty-one thousand six hundred seventy-five. Well, his total project is twenty-two one fifty-nine. I'm sorry, I got it. Oh yeah, right. Okay, he got the same thing. Just larger print here. Yeah. So these are the two big ads here at the end. The biggie is the almost 8,000, which is taking care of the roof. I mean, if he's found that's an issue with its roofs and it needs to be taken care of, it makes sense to me to take care oh, of it. Oh, there you go. Perfect. I just sent him a message. But it, it's like any of these projects, you know, once you get into them, it's, you're always sorry you got into them. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. Hard, our, so, our sewer's messed up here, so we end up putting a shut off up here, too. <laughs> you know? That was, yeah. That was amazing. <clears throat> always did a good job, though. Short time. They sure did. 
Uh, <coughs> well, I sent it to Bucky, but I haven't heard back from him. So. Okay. Well, could we, again, I assume there might be some time urgency on this? Before winter. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know what yeah. his work schedule is or anything else, you know, so do we want to do if, if you're satisfied with his answer and it makes sense that we go and we do a conditional approval sort of thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Once you talk to him, because you yeah. said you had questions for yeah. him, so. Yeah. Yep. But if it, if it makes sense, yeah, we, yeah. we approve it. Yeah. We'll yeah. do something like that. So okay. we'll make a motion to conditionally approve the, okay. the added expense. Right. Yep. Based on Brian's conversation, then that yeah, it makes sense. Second. Okay. okay. Anybody? In, uh, everybody in favor? Signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Standing. Good. Is online. Brian. Mar uh, Mary's gone now. Who? My brother. What's his phone number? Oh, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I go here. The, right, exactly. The problem yes, with cell we phones don't have is we don't have to remember anymore. I should remember my grandmother's phone line. Eight 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 two one eight zero. I remember my mother's. Five eight three eight. Do you still have that number? Yes. Do you really? That's you're not. I remember that. Huh. Yes. Isn't that? I just told everybody your phone number. <laughs> it's okay. okay. It's not a big deal. Let's discuss the uh, COVID, COVID leave, leave, number six, <clears throat> and uh, the tax policy. Uh, Low 60 hours per calendar year. In addition, no uh, paid COVID leave for or CTO. The additional leave uh, would end when the CDC announces the U.S. is uh, classified endemic. No, I'm wondering. This is pretty specific. They must have gotten this from, like, what the rules are. Is my assumption. Mm -hmm. Okay. It certainly seems that way. Yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and so when I was reading it, I was like, oh, this is pretty. This has been copy and pasted from it, somebody. Exactly. Says, Here's what your policy needs That's, to be. Yes, so, okay, okay, we got it. To be. So I've, I've heard different things. I've heard that uh, as far as the hours and stuff like that, um, I think the state's at 40 hours. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, um, most everybody that I've know that had COVID uh, uh, within five days they're usually uh, had their second test and they're back to work. That's the ones I have. doesn't mean because I guess with the COVID it depends on your immune system and everything else too. So it could be even longer. But uh, um, you know and we all know when uh, I think there's probably going to be another spur of it this winter. I know that it I think there's a spur right, right now. now. Well, yeah. I know. It's I, all around us. All, I know so many people. I, I've missed that. Well, I don't know how many times. I, I've talked to people like we're sitting here now, and uh, next day they, they say they take that. I'm like, I just talked to a guy last week. This is the second time around with it, and it was worse. This time? This time than yeah. it was last time. I've heard this one's kind of bad, yeah. The strain of it. And he's time. fully vaccinated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. fully vaccinated. He said he didn't we know. Didn't know. What it would have been if he wasn't been vaccinated. Yes, that's I, the I had a coworker that went out to Chicago with a bunch of people from our central office area. Yeah. Uh, three quarters of them came back yeah. with it. Yeah. And he's been out for all uh, part of last week and then this week. So. I don't know. I'm waiting when the, with the new vaccine when they get it out to the pharmacies. I'll go definitely get that shot. Now, is that the second booster you're talking about? No, no. This is, we've had the second. So this, had is had the, this, this is the, this is the new one that's coming out. It is specifically designed for this strain. For this strain. Yeah. Because this one has proven so bad. So I'm like, okay. 
Holy smokes. So we're doing 40 hours. Well, I didn't work in 40 right? hours or more. And it's just increasing. Okay. Of, oh, yeah. COVID leave 40 hours a year until I'm done. And then after 60 hour ETO. Right. Then it's ETO. So it's well, included in all of the time. This CTO is now COVID time off. Mm -hmm. Read it. Okay, but your evidence has to be a test positive from a healthcare provider is required to receive. How many people are getting that? I know right. some aren't, and I know some are. And there's, uh, I guess the rule of thumb is they're supposed to notify the. Uh, Health department. Oh, right. When you have it, so they can calculate how much of it is, but a lot of people haven't. And that's what but, they're saying. You know. Well, but there, there's evidence of the employee's positive test confirmation for COVID by a health care provider is required. That's it. Yeah. Look, that's not me calling them up and telling them I have it. That's to me. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's, that's the doctor, doctor. Saying, saying that. And most of us aren't doing that. It's my the last thing they want. I was just if saying, you think you have COVID, to. you do your home well, test. The doctors, you're the doctors tell you to stay home, but yeah. if you have complications, then come see us. That's right. what they're saying. So, but, so then how do you how do you do the third dot? <laughs> no doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just reading that. I'm yeah, going, no, how am I supposed right. to do that? Could you bring a positive test in, or, or take a picture of it? Yeah. Or, I, I don't know. I mean, honestly, the employees here. I mean, I don't think we're gonna. Have I, no, I don't. I don't either. But I'm okay. I'm going. Lying about you it. You <laughs> I mean, you couldn't. No. You pretty much. That's just one of those things you read. Go, excuse yeah. me. That's a requirement. That's stupid. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you call, if the, you tell the doctor you got a positive result, they're gonna tell you your butt. Yeah. <laughs> and they're probably, probably not coming to your house. Well, they'll tell you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> If you need Sorry. to go to the emergency room, go ahead. If you're yeah. not breathing, we'll give you some oxygen. That's right. That's right. I guess. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So do we? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Well, I, uh, it's ten. Uh, do we need to make a motion on that? Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I. I find think it sounds good, and it's got all the verbiage that is needed for that. So we just need a motion to accept it as written, maybe? Okay, all right, I'll move we uh, accept the supplemental paid leave policy. Second. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed, abstaining? Okay, the ayes have it. Good. Uh, Someday, maybe I'll be over with. Jesus. I tell you. Yeah. And let's see, so that's that. And did everybody else in their packet when they got them? They must have had the stuff for Bucky's. Uh, yep. They explained it to us. Yeah. That's what I make sure yeah, they got the I got it on yeah. my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll so, hope that maybe he also, but I, we've already dealt with that. So and I'll talk to him. Uh, funding request that was. From Al, we've already done that. It's in your hands, Brian. Yeah, no, well, not the one for Al, but uh, no, yeah, or the, the and let's see now. Do we need to go into executive session for that discussion on the uh, gravel pit? I don't think so, do we? It's going to be discussed. Do well, whatever we do, we should finish everything before we go and do it, go into executive right, session. Right, we should approve the, the yeah. warrants and the meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yes, let's do and that. The and the, and let's the do the let's do the minutes. Nobody's <laughs> moving over there. Do a dance. That is working. Yeah. Uh, okay, so nine. So I'll make a motion to approve all the town warrants. Okay. Second. Second. Call in favor. Signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Staining. Ayes have it. It passed. And then I'll let you write that down so you get your Yes, vote. thank you. Okay. And then, oh, then the minutes. Okay. Okay. So, need a motion to move to accept the, the minutes? Uh, I'll make a motion to move. That's the red, yes. Okay. Was that, was that a second? Yeah, that was a second. 
All the favors are going to find my screen, right? Oh, I, uh, I, 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 I don't think I was in here. Yeah, she was there. Okay. Yep. Have a long day. Yep. Okay. So we have the warrant, the minutes, and let's see. And then the memorial, yeah, fundraising for the memorial. You, you made all the money. I did it. Congratulations. I did. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. You did what? Got all the money for the art. We raised the $20,000, so we got the $40,000. That's awesome. A lot of work. Yeah. Well, we did it. Good job. I was going to say. <laughs> there were some fairly absurd moments as I'm lying in a recliner. Packed in ice next to my husband who was dying, making phone calls for yeah, his money right. going. What are you know, doing? This is pretty crazy. And you're yeah. just smiling and patting me. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so, hey, we got this. We got, we got this. this. Yeah, yeah, we oh, got this. Yeah, yeah, you're not doing anything else. What the hell? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tough. Well, we appreciate oh, that. Really, really, you guys. It, really, I mean, it's, it's, we really... It is going to truly be something that people are going to drive from all over the state and out of state to see. It's, gonna it's be. just, it's stunning. It really is. He's that's just great. finishing up the artwork and he sent me some great pictures. Today. It's like, oh my goodness. Oh, gracious. that's exciting. Good. It's so, one of those little projects that starts this big. It's kind of like the grain tall, right? It started this big <laughs> and it's turned into this beautiful thing at the end. But woo, there are a lot of steps in between. Okay, okay. so uh, the next thing that uh, Ron had given me was about Glenna Pound, the ones doing the auditing. Oh, yeah. Um, is busy working with Jen and on completing the FY 2000 and 2001 audits. Uh, no one under uh, under contract for the FY 22 audit. Jen and I are discussing the approach uh, full RFP or extended uh, Glenna's one year uh, contract. Uh, FY 22 audit work is what is normally happening now. So we should try to get all three done as possible to get back on track with a normal yes. annual audit schedule. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> Have an annual audit done annually instead she, of every few. Um, Glenna uh, sent me a, a message while I was at work and she wanted to have a chance to meet up with me and discuss something. And I gave her some times to, that would be available. And so, Hopefully I'll hear from her and find out more information and report back to everybody. Great. Um, let's see. Okay, then the executive session uh, have new information on MSG appeal and uh, labor agreement. Uh, but nothing new from Manash and town attorney Dave Rupp is reaching out to Howard's attorney. So I guess, and Howard, I saw him at Napa one morning and uh, he said that uh, still waiting on uh, the survey uh, from um, uh, Reed there. Oh, okay. So that's what's holding up everything, I guess. And then uh, I guess he's been asked to do the Guyon Valley Hall too. So he must be right out busy. And so, you know, so I'm not sure any more than what just got reported. Uh, That was everything on the on the cheat sheet here he gave me, and uh, um, so there the driveway apron, public comment, beam road, garage repairs, uh, COVID leave, ARPA funding for possibly for uh, Mount Valley Hall, and then the audit information Howard. So we go into executive session and discuss the uh, gravel pit. And anything else that we need to discuss? I make a motion to go into executive session. Mm -hmm. I'll okay. second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Now. Please.